All right, this is Tony Delane, June 5th, 2020. Well, what's on my mind right now? I've been watching a few videos, a few videos on YouTube, and I'm sure you have too. I don't watch much social media. I don't have, I have a very limited Facebook account. I'm on Facebook probably never. Um, I'm, on, I'm not on Instagram. I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on any of those other social media platforms. But um, I've watched a few videos on YouTube, not very many, but a few, maybe a few, maybe about three or four. And there are, there are people that are out there discussing um, the George Floyd situation. You guys know what that's about. And, of course, the coronavirus hoax, and some of you know what that's about. And... The truth is out there. Many people are making videos that are going viral about the coronavirus, George Floyd, Bill Gates, biological weapons being on, used on the public, general public, fluoride in the water, the elite, the Illuminati, the black nobility whatever you want to call them, the watchers, demons and devils in human suits. The truth is out there. The mark of the beast system, that's gaining a lot of traction in the news. There are a lot of truth tellers out there. Not all of them are Christian. Many of them are Muslim. Some have no religion at all. Some just see it and don't identify with anything Republican or Democrat, they just see all of this going on. But you know what? I'll tell you what I think. It's my opinion. You remember when Bill Gates said, I saw an interview, two separate interviews, where he said, yeah, this is pandemic number one. And when pandemic number two and pandemics after that arrive, tells me this. There are so many people out there that know what's going on in the news, the mainstream news media, politicians, the, the establishment politicians, the narrative, they, they have so many people watching and calling them out, calling them out on their lies, their BS, <laughs> they get caught, and trust me, they're getting tired of it. So here's what I predict was going to happen. And this is just my opinion, but I put myself in their shoes. The comment was made by Brzezinski. He said years ago, when they had a monopoly, I'm paraphrasing, when they had a monopoly on the media and the news and television and movies, it was easier to control a bunch of people. Today, it's easier to control, it's easier to, it's easier to kill a million people. I'll say it again. He said, and I'm, pra I'm paraphrasing, years ago when they had a monopoly on information, when they were winning the information war, it was easier to control a million people. But today, due to the internet, and due to people being informed, and news instantaneously ignites around the world when videos go vi uh, viral, he said, Today it's easier just to kill a million people. So here's my prediction. And this is why I think they're coming out using the coronavirus and other synthetic bio weapons that are made by um, Bill Gates and many other companies. And the coronavirus is not the only bio weapon they've manufactured. There's lots of them. The flu. Variations of the flu, chicken flu, bird flu, <laughs> bat flu, SARS, swine flu, AIDS, HIV, the common cold, the measles, the mumps, and all that stuff. And all the stuff that they put in vaccines that they've manufactured synthetically. But here's my prediction. I believe since the general public is waking up and videos going viral... They're having a very hard time uh, controlling the information war. Hillary Clinton said, we are losing the information war. So, 
my prediction is this. They're going to start killing masses of amounts of people using uh, engineer crises. A series of internet, I mean, uh, a series of manufactured crises to kill a bunch of people. I mean, just kill off millions, possibly maybe a billion to two people to get rid of the generation that is informed so they can control the next generation in darkness after them. You don't think it's true? They did it in World War One. They did it in World War Two. They've been doing this throughout history. Whenever they lose control of the narrative and the people are wide awake and willing to stand up and fight, they escalate the situation to a hot war and they start killing people by the millions and billions if, they, if necessary. And I think this is the start with the coronavirus, the beta testing of the coronavirus to see how much control they have, what kind of narratives can they set out there before they implement the real weapon of killing masses of amounts of people worldwide. Because you guys are just too informed. We're too informed as to what's going on. So look for a lot of death to follow. Don't believe me? Think about it. Look what they're doing to the animal kingdom. I think I, I talked about this in previous videos. I was telling a friend just recently about all the variety of birds, blue jays, cardinals, sparrows, pigeons. You name it. We used to have all those birds in the city. Not today. For all kinds of reasons. You look around. You don't even see the number of birds. That we used to see back in the 70's and 80's. You don't. If, if, they, if they can get us to volunteer. To kill off God's creation. Using pesticides. What makes you think they're not going to use. Biological synthetically made weapons. In the medical industry. To kill us off. And possibly follow it up with an EMP. Or something like that. Some combination of death cycles that will kill a billion people overnight or in a matter of a couple of weeks all right this is tony delang that's my thoughts i'll see you guys in the next video